the class uh, last week or previously, I know Mama Ibisami would have explained to you very well on the state of matter. A state of matter are of three. That is the solid, the liquid, and the gas. These are the three states of matter. And I'm very sure that she would have explained to you very well that looking at the solid, that its own particles are compressed together by a force known as force of attraction or force of coercion. And because of this force of attraction or force of coercion, it made these, passive, I mean, these particles to be compacted together. It disallowed its movement. And the only means by which these particles could move is through vibration. And I know also that she would have explained the, the particles of, that exist in liquid, that it is more freer than that of the solid, but it is only, uh, it is only limited to the, the, the container where the liquid is. So the particles can only move within the container that uh, contained the, the liquid. And also we have that of gas that its own particles are freer, that it can move about uh, without any disturbance. Now today, we are moving to another topic that says thermal energy. Thermal energy. Here we are going to discuss I will let you know the definition of the thermal energy and also the method of heat transfer. The method of heat transfer. According to the definition of the thermal energy. Another word for the word thermal is heat. So that when you hear thermal, you know we are referring to heat. Now, thermal energy. You can see in brackets, that it is called heat energy. So thermal energy is the energy that is transferred from one body to another when the bodies are at different temperature. Again, thermal energy is the energy that is transferred from one body to another when the bodies are at different temperature. Now, taking for example, look at these two objects I am holding in my hand. Now, let us assume that this object, this first object is subjected to heat. And this other object is very cool. I want to explain how thermal energy comes into existence now. This one object is subjected to heat. And this other one remains in coolness. Now, by the time this one that is being subjected to heat is in contact with the one that is cool, now thermal energy occurs because hotness from this one that is very hot is transferred to this cool object. And the coolness from this cool object is transferred again to these hot objects. And before you know it, the two become balanced. That this, the rate of hotness of this one is reduced, and the, the rate of coolness of this one is increased. The coolness will attract the hotness from the hot objects. So that at the end of the day, it becomes a hot as well. So that is thermal energy. The transfer of energy from one body to another. Now, subtopic again, that is the next. Method of heat transfer. Method of heat transfer. As I've told you that thermal energy is referring to heat. Now, method of this heat transfer. We have three methods. The first one is true conduction. The second one 
is true convection. And the third one is true radiation. Conduction, convection, and radiation. Let's take this conduction first. How it is transferred from one hand to the other through conduction. This is the process by which it is transferred through a solid material by the successive collision of its molecules. Looking at this object I'm holding, let us assume that this is an ion. If I put this ion, the end of this ion into, into fire, Going back to the explanation I gave to you, uh, talking about the solid uh, particles under state of matter, you know, I told you that the molecules or the particles there are held together. That the only means by which these particles can move is through vibration. Now, this is a solid material now. The molecules that it contains are held together by a force of attraction and that is the reason why it is solid in nature and that is the reason why it is taking this rectangular shape because the molecules that it contains are held together by the force called force of collision or force of attraction now this object now is put inside fire the hedge is put inside fire before you know it there is vibration taking place. And as the vibration continues to take place, the heat continues to transfer from that hot area to the cooler area. And before you know it, the whole object becomes very hot. Now, looking at the diagram on the board, you can see this is the uh, solid material. Look at where the heat has been introduced. Look at the particles, look at the molecules inside. Vibration continues to take place until, look at the, the, the uh, direction of the arrow. The vibration continues like that until this place becomes very hot that you can no more hold it again. So that is that about the conduction. Coming to convection, it is talking about transfer of heat in liquid. I told you the other time that molecules in liquid are also there but they are more freer than that of the liquid, and it takes the shape of the, uh, of the container. Now, coming here, this is the process by which heat is transferred from one part of the liquid to another by the movement of its molecule. Molecule also move here. Look at the set of container here. The container here is filled with liquid. Now, heat is set up. What happened is that as the molecules under here, the molecules that is very closer to the heat, as it attracts the heat, it moves to the cooler region. And the molecules on the surface here that is cool moves to the, uh, to the direction of the heat. And that is how it continues. And then before you know it, you can see the convection current. And before you know it, the whole water becomes hot. That is another kind of uh, heat transfer by convection. Now, looking at the third one, radiation, is another method by which heat can be transferred from one end to the other. But unlike in solid, it requires a solid material. In uh, convection, it requires a liquid material, the molecules that exist in liquid. But here, in radiation, it does not require any medium. No solid, no liquid. It doesn't require anything. But yet, it is transferred. Look at the definition. This is the process by which heat is transferred from one place to another without the aid of any medium. Now, 
For example, look at sun. When sun shines, it does not require any medium before it reaches us. It is travels an invisible wave from hot places to the cooler end. It does not require any medium, either through liquid or through solid, but the heat travels in wave form and reaches other places that are cooler. And that is the reason why we are experiencing this cool, I mean this hotness from the from the sun. I hope you understand today's uh, today's uh, teaching. So by the grace of God, coming next lesson, we shall talk much on the applications of these uh, three methods of heat transfer. And uh, until that time, God spares our life. God bless you.